who wrote that, and uh, of course Paul Shear and Yvette uh, Nicole Brown, who uh, we cannot wait for community this year. Emily, it was good to see you in that clip. Um, I want to ask you about playing Lacey this past season, the dark bell. Yeah, I kind of miss her. She was a lot of fun. It was um, almost for a few episodes there playing three characters, you know, flashback bell, storybook bell, and then storybook Lacey. But yeah, she was she was a uh, kind of feisty. <laughs> she came straight out of a white snake video. <laughs> Probably one of her favorite albums. <laughs> give, give us a sense of what so we can hope for with Belle in Storybrooks when she's uh, holding down the fort. What? Belle for Mayor. Yeah, I guess there's a hashtag <laughs> Belle for Mayor, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Come troll. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're just starting out, so I guess we'll have to see. Mm. But um, some exciting stuff. Belle for Mayor? Yeah. <laughs> Someone dies. <laughs> so, yeah, what's, uh, what's in store for Bell? Well, there's a lot in store for Bell, and, uh, you know, it's uh, what's happening back in Storybrook and what's happening in Everland, I think uh, we're going to find hopefully connected in, the, in a surprising way. But, you know, for us, of course, we remember. Uh, Mr. Gold um, is on a suicide mission in Neverland because the prophecy said that to uh, save Henry, he is going to have to die. And that is why he wanted to go face his death alone. So the question I'm wondering is, will these two ever be reunited? Mm. Will they find their happy ending? Well, there was a... There was, well, if they don't, I'm sure I won't hear anything from the Twitter universe. <laughs> I have never seen anything called Rum Bell or had it um, flood my inbox. <laughs> it's, it's just, so I would, yeah, I would, I, you know, who knows? There was, there was a Twitter question I got this week from um, somebody named Jewel Sci-Fi, and she wanted to ask uh, Emily, how do you think Bell would react uh, if she found out that she had a little gold bun in the oven? Well, Daddy's <laughs> often never Ah, oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I think confusion and, and being a little scared of knowing because what would it be if it if it was in fact a bellish child or a, a dark child or it could be half and half and you wouldn't know. It could be, be it could like a bi Yeah, it yeah. yeah. could be interesting. That's not bad. I've always wanted a brother or sister. <laughs> um, it could be twins. You can have one good and one evil, sort of like. Well, Lana, we had a lot of fun last year when you recited a line, uh, a classic line from, from your show, and some of the Twitter fans actually came up with some of their favorite lines for, for just a few of you that uh, we were hoping you might recite. Um, so, I want to ask first, Robert, if you would uh, give us a theory. <laughs> Let's hear a theory. All right, theory. <laughs> I'm just going to pass out these cards to four of you. I'll be right back. This is hard enough the first time around. <laughs> Why don't you kick it off? <clears throat> maybe I don't need answers. Maybe I just need to punch you in the face. <laughs> Really, Giddy? <laughs> Lonnie, you want to be your um, too? You go. Okay, okay. You wanted to see your queen? Well, my dears, here she is. <laughs> Why is it this working? <laughs> and the second line is... <laughs> the queen is dead. Long live the evil queen. Emily. Okay, number one. It's my, it's my chip cup. And these are all so sad. <laughs> Don't you see? That's exactly why I have to stay. Aww. 
lastly, um, uh, Colin, this was my favorite line of last season, if you wouldn't mind. When I jab you with my sword, you'll feel it. Before this goes downhill anymore, let's throw it to you guys. Uh, let's get our first audience question. Okay. Hi, um, I'm Leah. I am a crowd member of Swan Queen Nation. And my first question is to Adam, Eddie, Jennifer, and Lana. Okay? Wow. It's in the acting, it's in the writing, it's in the editing. Are you guys giving us Swan Queen on purpose? And I'm referring to specifically season one and season two, since no spoilers. Um, I think you're referring to, for those that don't know, Swan Queen is uh, the parent of Emma and Regina, and um, I don't think we're doing anything on purpose except for writing uh, two women who both love Henry and want what's best for him, and one who is the daughter of Snow White and Prince Charming, and the woman who cursed her uh, and made her grow up without parents. Okay, well said. Dorothy. And Mr. Gold, how cool! Your bell, your bell, your bell. Wow, that was awesome, both of you. That is fantastic. Wow. That is fantastic. great. This face is sparkly. The best story. Come on, come on, it's for these kids. Um, okay, so I'm going to go first. This is actually for Robert, Lana, Jenny, Jenny, and Josh. <laughs> which is just fun to say. Uh, I'm actually friends with Eduardo Castro. Oh, yay! That's our costume designer, guys. <laughs> Eduardo is the man who makes all these costumes, and this week was nominated for an Emmy. I'm in love with him. Anyway, <clears throat> um, in December of this past year, he actually came to the five of you and asked you to autograph pictures addressed to someone named Tammy. Uh, that was my mother, and it was her Christmas present, and it's the only thing I've ever been able to give to her that represented something that we have both bonded over. Aww. And I wanted to personally, I came here from Colorado, and I wanted to personally thank you for taking the time to do that. Of course. Because it meant so much to me. How long did it take you to do your makeup? I just wanted to ask that. It was about 45 minutes. Wow. I have a worth it. headache on my face. Thank you. Um, I, 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 I can't give you anything today, but Eduardo, I'm mailing you guys thank you cards through him. Oh, thanks. Uh, so. Well, thank you, guys. Thank thanks. You, you got a great day. Thanks. And I have a question for Robert, Emily, and Michael. Um, uh, we saw a lot of complexity come out of Rumpelstiltskin and Mr. Gold this season. And my question is, is there anything that Rumpelstiltskin could do that Belle and Balefire wouldn't forgive? Hmm. 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 Uh, I think there's a lot of things that, that, that Rumpelstiltskin could do that people wouldn't forgive. Um, <laughs> I am very forgiving now. You are. Mm. Oh. I, I, you know, Your grandmother, that would be weird. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> that would be, I would be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Oh, Granny Bell. Hey, grandmother. <laughs> step grandmother. Sorry, step grandmother. Step mom. I can get used to my life. Step mom. Yeah, yeah. I get confused. There's way too many things in my life. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take the next question, guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Curtis Dice, and I don't know if this question has been answered yet, but can Rumpelstiltskin 
travel to the different dimensions on its own, on its own, on his own, or does he need the Mad Hatter to do that? Uh, he needs a portal. So the Mad Hatter has a portal. Um, magic beams are portals. Sometimes a looking glass can be a portal to Wonderland. So on his own, he actually can't travel between worlds. He still needs a portal. Even the Dark One needs uh, transportation. <laughs> a compass, because I carried that compass for a long time last year. And a passport. <laughs> and their Delta Miles card when they went to New York. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ariel. Oh! Whoa. Yeah, these fans of I was curious as to um, what characteristics do you think you share with your characters? And I love all of you. Beautiful, wonderful people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Josh, Kenny, you want to take that? Uh, optimism. I can be a bit selfish, and I can see that in the snow. Yeah. Impulsivity. Is that a word, writers? It is now. It is now. It's a good word. I think Charlie can be impulsive sometimes. He can he can let things kind of run run wild in him, and he can kind of... Uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of that. You use the word she just invented, impulsivity. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's impulsivity. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I share, impulsivity. <laughs> there was a moment last season, a long moment when you two were separated. Is it ever, is it possible that this, the Charmings could ever break up, even momentarily? Ah, oh, I would, I mean, that is the loss of all hope, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to hear that. I'm thinking about that. <laughs> I won't stop trying. <laughs> My name is Olivia. You guys are all great. And I was wondering, out of both the worlds, the Enchanted Forest and Storybrooke, which one do you think your character belongs in? Oh, great question. Yeah. Storybrooke. Uh, Bobby. Bobby, it's the Burbank. I think, uh, <laughs> I think Fairy Tale. Uh, I think, I don't know, but I think most of them are trying to get back. Mm -hmm. Fairy Tale, for sure. Yeah. 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 And, and Michael, you uh, you ended up in a precarious situation with uh, Mulan and Aurora, the Prince uh, Philip. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you feel about that when you when you read that? Did you think you were going to die first of all? Did you think you were a goner? No. <laughs> we do. We do. Um, to be fair, we called him. Said, you're going to read tomorrow a script that says you're dying. And you're not dying. That's that's kind of what gave it away. <laughs> It, it was I, I was a very fortuitous situation I found myself in. I mean, you know, I could have been, I could have landed anywhere. Um, there's a reason I landed where I did land, which we'll sort of discover later. But, um, but to just sort of be found by people who were clearly willing to help, pretty great stroke of luck. Yeah. Well, there are shippers out there who are already matching up with Mulan. Uh, Why? Is, is that a possibility? <laughs> <laughs> That's my my baby daddy you're talking about. Oh. What is the name of that ship? Yeah, we, oh gosh, I have a name of ba name name bay baby. Bay well, where's Swan? There's Swan Fire. Bob, 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 Bob. Mulan and what, what's the Mulan one? Mulan, Ninja Fire. <laughs> Like it. Uh, warrior fire. The warrior fire. Hey, I, 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 Bail on that, Nicholas. Is that a couple? That sounds of dangerous. Bail on. Well, you know, Bail I think, uh, is it a couple we're considering? I think, you know, the last thing I saw Neil do was look up at the woman he's loved for 10 years and say, I love you too. And right now, I mean, I can't imagine he doesn't want to get back to her and his son. Unfortunately for him, she's with um, Captain Hook. And <laughs> Well, that's true, but uh, you know, Neil. You beat that. Neil's Neil's going <laughs> to attempt at least to move heaven and hell, and if there's a captain in the way as well, so we it. We, we can find it out right now, everyone. <laughs> Colin, sure Colin and Jennifer, how do you feel about a possible romance between between Emma and Hook? I don't know we just shared a drink recently, so yeah. You what? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, I think I said it before, maybe it's, you know, it could be time for Hook to sort of get over his thing with uh, Mila and stuff.
stuff from here. It's now. only been a couple hundred years. It's only been now. So now with my daughter. We mm. <laughs> hope it could be with everybody's daughter. You never know. We have time for one more question. All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. My name is Lily, and I want to know if we will find out what mermaid was Regina so interested about that she went to to Rumpel Stillskin. No, that's, that's a great interesting question. question. I know, uh, you know, anything can happen in Neverland. Watch season three. <laughs> Really good way to, to conclude this. So. Yes, um, and uh, thank you, everyone. We thank appreciate you. your support. Yeah. Yeah. We are excited to have you with us. Everybody on the stage loves the fans of this show. We love you, and we wish for you. Enjoy this little tease. Hang out for a second. Hang out for a second. There's a little, little tease coming out.